another Fishman Takeover Riff Rundown Saturday. You guys know the drill. So, so happy to be here. Today, I am going to be teaching you all how to play Daughter by Pearl Jam, one of my favorite, favorite bands of all time. Love those guys. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to play that special tune off their second album, Versus. Now, you guys know the drill. Let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite Pearl Jam record, okay? So location, where you're tuning in from, and your favorite Pearl Jam record. So here's what we'll be going over today. That's what we're going to be going over today. And then, of course, the little outro bit. We're going to talk about all of that good stuff today. So again, my name is Angela Petrilli, here to teach you guys how to play daughter. So let's get right to it. What's happening here, obviously, is I'm sure you guys can tell we are in an open tuning. In fact, you would be correct. We are in open G. However, we are doing something a little bit different. And to some of you guitar players, myself included, something a little scary. So what we're gonna do here is, bear with me. This is what Stone does when he tunes his guitar, okay? Your E string, we're gonna tune it up to G. I know, it's a little scary. We're gonna turn it up to, all the way up to G, okay? Your A string, we're gonna bring that down to G, okay? D string, keep it there. G string, keep it there. Your B string, keep it there. E string, down to D. So we are in an open G tuning, but instead of having this E string tuned down to D, or the fifth, we're bringing it all the way up to the root. So we're having this double G thing happening. Like that. I know it's a little scary, but that's, that's what's happening here. So, so, so that's how we get this really cool droney sound in, in the song. That's how it happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the top here. This is what's happening. Here's how we do it. You're gonna get your first finger, and I wanna say this before we really get started in the lesson. I'm gonna refer to all of these strings from their standard tuned name, okay? Just to make sure that we're nice and crystal clear with all of this stuff. So we're gonna be using our first finger, place that on the fifth fret of that A string, okay? Your pinky finger, go ahead and place that on the seventh fret of the D string. So it should sound like that, okay? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get our pick, we're gonna strum, okay, the, 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 the top three strings, just like that, okay? So we're gonna do that nice and slowly. Now, we're gonna hit the G string, B string, and E string together arpeggiate that, spread it on out, right? So let's do that again nice and slowly here. Now go backwards, B string, G string, and let it ring, okay? So let's do that a few times nice and slow, we'll go on to the next bit, okay? So here we go. Again. One more time for good luck, why not? 
again, let that ring. Let that sustain really take over there. Let it breathe, and now we get on to the main part of the song. So this is going to be in the intro and the verses and the chorus. So we're getting a lot of bang for our buck here with this, this riff. So here we go. I'm gonna play it real quick and then we'll talk it through. Okay, so that's the bit that's happening there. Let's go ahead and talk about this. So as you've noticed, this shape here we're gonna keep it exactly the same. First finger, fifth fret of the A string. Your pinky finger is gonna go on that seventh fret of the D string. You're gonna go ahead, play the open G tuning, right? All the strings. And you're gonna slide up the shape from that fifth fret A string, seventh fret D string. S go ahead and, and slide that up a whole step, okay? That's gonna lead you to the seventh fret of the A string, ninth fret. D string. Okay? So it'll sound like this. That pretty? I'm going to do that again. Just like that. Now, here's what's going to happen next. We're just going to articulate it a little bit different. We're playing the same chords here. Go back, 5th fret, 7th fret of that A string and D string. Now, go back, 7th fret, ninth fret, A string, D string, respectively. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that a few times, nice and slow. And this is the first bit. In that main part of these chords that we see in the intro, verse, and chorus, it's gonna be three different sections, okay? So here we go, nice and slow, this is section one. Now, you'll notice I'm hitting that E string that we tuned all the way up to G, I'm hitting that in between each stanza as well. So I'll show you what I mean here. This is something that's going to conti continue with the other two parts, two sections of the song, okay? So let's go ahead and do that one more time, nice and slow, and then we'll go to the rest of the part. Just like that. Now. The next bit sounds like this. We're gonna go ahead and slide that fifth fret, seventh fret shape up a whole step to the seventh and ninth fret of that A string and D string, but this time open. I watched a bunch of live versions of Pearl Jam playing this and I was just intently watching Stones playing. And for that second bit, he lifts ever so slightly. Just like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do too. So let's combine sections one and two. Starting to hear it? One more time. So that's what's happening there. So now let's go ahead and go on to section three. It's gonna sound like this. Let me try that again. Let me put all three parts together. Again, guys, if you don't know by now, this is live. I do this all in one take, so here we go. I'm gonna combine one, two, and three so we can hear all this together. <laughs> Part three. Sometimes it helps my brain if I do things in context too. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna do that is like this. Let's do that again nice and slow. So we've got open G chord, right? All six strings. Slide from seventh, fifth and seventh fret of that A and D string up to the seventh and ninth fret. Go back. To your here, right here. So on the fifth fret of that A string and seventh fret of that D string, lift open G chord. Go right back, fifth and seventh fret of the A and D string, respectively. And then release open. 
and G chord, like that. All right, so let's combine all three of these parts and we'll go on to the next bit. So here we go, I'm gonna do it slow and then I'll do it a little bit faster, so here we go. time. Okay, so that's what's happening there. So now we're going to go ahead and go to is this next part that sounds like this. So that's that little pre-chorus bit before we get into the chorus. So here's how we do this. You're gonna get your first finger, you're gonna put that across the ninth fret, E string, A string, D string, okay? Now, as I, as I wanna mention here, this song's a good like pinky workout too. So we're gonna get our pinky, we're gonna put that on the 12th fret of that D string. And it's supposed to sound a little dissonant, it's okay. And notice how we're getting that, that droning, right? Because those two notes, they're exactly the same those two G's together. And we're gonna see them there as well. Okay, so anytime we play that, those, those notes are gonna be the same. Okay, so you're gonna get your pinky finger 12th fret, we're gonna be strumming that E string, A string, D string. Bring the pinky back to the 11th fret of that D string. Again, nice and slow here. As I mentioned in these lessons a lot, keep that right hand nice and light when you're strumming. Now a little more speed. And then we go into a chorus, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and play through all three parts that we've learned so far. That little intro bit where we arpeggiated that chord, the bulk of the song, that intro verse chorus part. We're gonna do the pre-chorus and then into the chorus. Okay, so here we go. stuff right love open tunings love love open tunings so that's what's happening there okay so so what happens this repeats we go ahead and we do another pre-chorus after that chorus and here's what happens there so the pre-chorus bit again with our first finger across the ninth fret of the e string a string and d string okay remember good thumb placement on the back notice how you can't see my thumb here we want a good lock we want that thumb in the middle of the neck here okay to hold this chord in place and make it sound as good as we can pinky finger at that 12th fret and that 11th fret of that d string then there's this riff and then we slide all the way back up now this is something that i noticed when i was watching the live versions mike mccready also plays this but mike mccready's in standard tuning for this song stone is an open g with the G string or with the E string tune all the way up to G. So he's playing it up here and I'm gonna show you that riff real quick. And then we're gonna slide into that pre-chorus chord like that. So let's talk about how we're gonna do this. Okay, first finger. Go ahead and put that on the second fret of that A string. Hammer on with your third finger, fourth fret. Now with your first finger, place that on the second fret of the D string. And you're gonna lift up, 
pull off there. Just like that. Go back to the fourth fret of that A string. First finger, second fret of the A string. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this all the way to the ninth fret of the E string and the A string. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. You will be able to do this. Again, you guys know the drill with these lessons. Can't play anything fast, we can't play slow. So let's take our time with this. Okay, here we go. Let's do that a few times here. Now, try and grab that E string too. Okay, I'll do that over too, so here we go. Notice if you strum it, both of those strings have the same note. Cool droniness, okay? Let's do a little faster. Cool, right? One more time for good luck. Now, have that pinky ready to go into that chord. If you need a little help, notice I'm doing this too. I'm, I'm, I'm using my second finger to help press with that first finger. If you find that that helps you, go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do that riff again into the chord. I'm gonna do that nice and slow and then we'll do a couple of times a little bit faster. And then we have a few more little bits to do. Folks, that's, that's the tune for today. Pretty fun stuff. So here we go. Let me do that with the right fingers. Here we go again. Let's do it a little slower. again. Okay, let's do a little faster one more time. Ah, one more. And then we go in right into a chorus. stuff right so that's what's happening there so I want to talk a little bit about the gear that I am using before we move on what I've got here is a Martin Tripolo 17e one of my favorite guitars to play and, and, and to use on these riff rundowns what I've got in here is the F Fishman matrix enhanced pickups in here always making my guitar sound good also the the silver box that you guys hear me talk about all the time on these lessons when i'm going acoustic this is a pedal i do not leave the house without it's my fishman rs spectrum di it's an acoustic imager the the way i like to describe it is it allows the instrument to sound as it should because when we buy an acoustic guitar we want to make sure it sounds great acoustic and want to make sure it sounds great in a room with the R Spectrum, what I really like about it is that it just, it makes the guitar sound as it should. I wish, you know, it would be great if you could mic a guitar, an acoustic guitar on stage, but those of us who play know that that can be an absolute nightmare. With this thing, it's got anti-feedback, which is really great, and again, makes guitar sound as it should. And when you're playing live, sound people will absolutely love you if you bring that thing in because it makes their job easier makes you sound good i love it i i don't leave the house without it so i'll leave a link in the facebook page as well as the the youtube video after this and and leave a link for this thing again i truly love it i've been using it gosh i think i've had this one close to nine years if not a little more i just absolutely love it when i'm going through here um, amp wise is the loudbox performer by Fishman. I love it. Super light, not too heavy. And when they say loud box, they mean it because it is a very loud amp. So it sounds great. And again, just really highlights the, the wonderful qualities that is part of an acoustic guitar, which is really great. Also, making up with an SM57 into Logic. To all of you fine folks, 
all over the world. Again, it's, it's always been such a joy to, to teach you guys every Saturday and to hang out with you and all that good stuff. And again, if you guys are really digging the lessons and having a good time and learning a lot, be sure to follow the folks at Fishman and all their social medias and see what they're up to. Lots of great content, lots of great gear that's coming your way. So be sure to keep tabs on what's going on with the folks at Fishman. You can also give me a follow to AngelaPatrulliMusic.com for all of that goodness. I will be playing my first show back in Los Angeles. Those of you in the LA area and Southern California will be playing September 8th at 8 p.m. over at the Mint in Los Angeles, probably one of my favorite venues in LA. So it's gonna be gonna be a blast, gonna be playing some, some of my favorite covers and, and a new original tune, which will be super great. So yeah, you can go to the mintla.com and check that out. You can visit my website for all that good stuff. Anyhow, let's get back to the rest of this song. So. We've covered a good chunk of it already because, again, there's a lot of repeating chords that are happening here. Again, really want to keep that right hand nice and fluid. Also, too, what's really great about this is notice we're strumming all of the strings for the most part of the song. Okay, probably the scariest part of the song is that we're tuning the C string up to G. But, yeah, for the most part, the rest of the chords are pretty simple and, and, and pretty good to go. So what's happening here, let's, let's go ahead and do a quick review of what we've done so far. I'll breeze through it here. And again, this is going to be on YouTube and all that good stuff. So if you're on a rewind and watch stuff, you can go ahead and do that too. So after the guitar solo, which is in standard tuning, we cannot do it on here. At least, well, you could, it'd just be a little more difficult. Maybe I'll save that for another lesson down the road. It's a really, really awesome, tasty solo by Mike McCready. Really, really awesome player. One of my favorites for sure. So when it comes to after that solo takes place, we go ahead and move on to sort of a breakdown chorus here, and Stone is, is, is allowing a lot of these chords to sustain through. So it would sound something like this. And just lets that ring. Meanwhile, the drums. So that's what's happening there, and that's what he's doing. So let's go ahead and talk about that. We already know this. We're just gonna break it down a little bit. All right, so we're gonna let these chords go ahead and sustain through, let them ring, okay? And again, lucky for us, it's the same chord shape. We're just moving it around, which is awesome. So again, a nice little strum here. Slide that again, fifth fret, seventh fret, A string, D string. Back to the fifth and seventh fret of the D and A string, and then up a whole step. Let it ring. That's part one. I'll play that again. And if you want to up strum, great. You want to down stroke, that's fine too. Now here's part two. So, very similar, a little different at the end. Open, G. Okay. Go ahead and get that 5th fret, 7th fret, A string, D string. Slide it up a whole step. Go back to that 5th fret, 7th fret of the A string and D string. Open. Okay, let's do that again nice and slow. Let it ring. 
Now let's combine parts one and two. Drums are going, part two. So this happens again. Repeat. And then it builds and then you go back to how it was originally. That's going and going and going. Then we have the outro, which does something cool and weird that you wouldn't expect, but that's what's so wonderful about Pearl Jam, one of my favorite bits about them, just what wonderful musicians they are. We have that as our outro, which is really neat. The shades go down. And they're, they're singing that over it, right? And then when they do this live, they totally turn it into something like, epically amazing. Those of you who have not seen Pearl Jam live yet, like do yourself a favor and go and see them at, at least once before you die. It's an incredible, incredible concert experience. So how we're going to play this outro. Okay. You're going to get your first finger placed that on the ninth fret of the A string. Now it's a good hammer on and pull off. <laughs> it's a good way to exercise this. All right. So you're going to get your first finger on the ninth fret. You're gonna get your second finger, place that on the 10th fret, then pull it off. That's it. If you'll notice, alternate picking here with the picking hand, okay? We don't wanna, we don't wanna do that. Alternate picking is gonna make it sound a lot smoother. Top and bottom of that string. This whole tune, all right? We covered it all, isn't that great? So again, probably the craziest thing about this is gonna be that E string to G, but don't worry. Your guitar can handle it, but when you're done, tune it back down. That's what I do. So, and that's what I'll be doing after this lesson. I'm gonna bring this back. So again, that's, that's pretty much the tune here. I'm gonna run through it real quickly. And again, this has been such an honor and a joy as always. I so enjoy teaching you guys, it is great. Again, if you guys, or having a blast, be sure to follow the folks at Fishman. Give me a follow too, AngelaPetrilliMusic.com. I'm on all the socials too. And please tag us in your videos. Let, let us know how it's going. Love to hear about it. So here we go, quick, quick, quick run through of what we just did today. So here we go. as our solo section. Now our breakdown chorus, here we go. Then that builds back to your regular chorus. Outro, here we go. folks. That is Daughter by Pearl Jam. Again, I wish you all so much success as always with these lessons. Please let us know how it's going. Tag us in your videos, all that good stuff. Be sure to give us a follow. Follow the folks at Fishman. 
Give me a follow to AngelaPetrilliMusic.com. If you're enjoying this on the YouTube, be sure to give us a follow. And again, I'll be here every Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific. Thanks, you guys, so much. Happy playing. See you.